The first line begins by defining an asynchronous handler function that exports from our edge function module. This handler is triggered upon receiving an HTTP event. Here we are accessing the accept language header from the incoming request, which is an indication of the client's preferred languages. We define a default locale as a fallback. In this example, we're using English, represented by N, as our default language. Next, we process the accept language header. We use the split function twice to isolate the primary language preference, ignoring any quality values. If the header is missing, we fall back to the default locale. We declare a variable named content where we will store the localized message that corresponds to the detected or default locale. Using a switch statement, we're able to select the appropriate message for the preferred locale. In case the preferred locale is Spanish, we assign hola, mundo, to the content variable. Similarly, for French, bonjour, la monde, is assigned to content. For English and any other unspecified language preferences, we default to hello, world. This bracket closes our switch statement. We are now ready to send a response back to the client. We create a new response object with the localized content. The response includes headers that indicate the content type, which is plain text, and the content language, which reflects the locale we detected or the default one. Finally, we close the response object and the handler function. With these headers set, the client will understand the language of the returned content.